I don't think he's played a lot of football um, during the pandemic, so I think he's really suffered uh, under the living environment that we've had over the last couple of years. But I think when you look at Villa, I think they are missing a little bit of something. And McGinn you know, needs I, a bit I, of help in there, doesn't he? Yeah, and I look at you know you look at El Ghazi the other day diving. I mean, Stephen needs players that he can rely on. He's, he's, done, that he's done that before. He's done that before. Absolute mm. joke. You know, I, I looked at that and thought. I'm, I'm thinking about his manager and thinking, I'm, I'd be fuming if that was a teammate. If the manager isn't thinking that, I'd be very surprised. So if you've got squad players that you can't rely upon like that, that, that you're looking at the depth of the squad, I think he'll definitely go in there, Coutinho, and I think he won't want to just be part of the squad. He'll no. want to make sure he's on the, on, well, on the pitch. Well, uh, it's and, happened because Villa have just tweeted, uh, Trev Ray, welcome, Philippe. Uh, Villa wow. and FC Barcelona have agreed terms for Coutinho to spend the rest of the season on loan at Villa Park. Mm. So Steven Gerrard obviously using his influence there. Absolutely. Ray. Great signing. Really is a good signing for, for Liverpool. And as, as I said before, Steven Gerrard knows his um, personality by playing with him in the dressing room. He knows what he can bring to the team. Um, and he might be a little bit fresher. You, people say, mm. well, they play a lot of football. He can get up to speed very, very quickly. Look at Lingard when he went to West Ham. You know, he didn't play a lot of football. Yeah. But he went right. straight in there and he kept himself fit. And he was... What an impact he made at West Ham. And maybe could Coutinho could do the same at uh, Aston Villa. Ray, I'd be surprised, because they're mates, aren't they? They used to be teammates. I'd be surprised if... They've not had a chat a couple of months ago. And he said, I'm not playing. I'm desperate to get out of here. Steven said, listen, get yourself right now. Start doing your work now. So when you get here in January, hit the ground running. Start the season well for us. And then maybe we can keep you after that. And you know what? He's got that marquee move where he chop, he's on his left, he chops to his right and he whips it in that top corner. I can see that conversation happening. I can see him coming in at Villa and being ready to go. Yeah, mm. well, the agreement, uh, can we see that agreement again? Because uh, it's important what's in there. Villa and Barcelona have agreed terms. The agreement which is subject to the player completing a medical and receiving a work permit also includes an option to buy. And mm. Philip will travel to Birmingham the next 48 hours. So they could. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, wonder absolutely. what sort of money they'd want for him. Coutinho. <sighs> I don't know. Well, God, I how much was he? Was he 29 million? now? 29? Wow. Coming 30? They is. want as much as they can, as they can get. Obviously, they, they've got their own financial prob financial problems, but I think it, it goes on his performances, doesn't it? If he hits the ground running and does really well in the, like, the next four months, I think they could ask for maybe 30, 40 million. Well, I was going to say, what sort of, you know, what could they win this year, yeah. Villa? Or what could they achieve? They got to go to Old Trafford, haven't they, in the cup on Monday? Mm. Uh, on Talk Sport exclusive, of course. Yeah, they'll fancy it because they'll know that there's pressure on Manchester United players. They're not playing well, no confidence. Aston Villa players will definitely go there. And Steven Gerrard, he's won there before at Old Trafford with Liverpool. They'll definitely go there and want to make a point. Um, whether he's going to be available for that, I don't know. Again, if he's had the conversation in November, you know, he could be flying. He could have had an unbelievable preparation, running, weights, the lot, doing it, individual stuff. So, uh, yeah, really exciting for Villa fans. Uh, I'm excited to watch him because when he was here, what was it, 2018, 2017, he was a superstar. He was one of the best players in the league. So, yeah, welcome to Felipe. Yep, uh, just shows you why Stephen Jarrod, good appointment, Ray. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the best footballers I've seen in midfield uh, in the Premier League history. Um, and he's always <coughs> going to be out of attract players. And... I think that people would probably want to play for him as well. So um, I'm sure Aston Villa going forward will be very successful under, with Steven Gerrard as manager and with his backroom staff as well. So yeah. uh, top four is difficult, isn't it? I think I think we all agree the top three are well, I said way Man United, above that. I said Man United, but after watching them against Wolves... Well, United were de dreadful, oh. weren't they? you got West Ham, you get Arsenal, you get Spurs. Who's going to get that fourth spot? Well, I think the favourite would be Manchester United still, but after watching them against Wolves and the problems they're having... You're probably swine towards someone else now. I mean, one of the North London. You look at Spurs or Arsenal now, maybe. Mm. Uh, West Ham, you can't write West Ham out of it because Definitely if not. they can get a couple of signings in, they've still got a very good squad of players. I've got a good run of games. I think they're up. about six to one now to get top four. Mm. So you know, people will be out there saying that's a bit of value. I think Spurs will be second favourites at the moment. Uh, obviously, we've got the big North London derby coming up. Um, mid-January so that's going to be a real indicator to where that fourth place could be going yeah. Ray I, I, I recollect I'm sure Arsenal had links with Coutinho but maybe the managers well, they went the on the guard, didn't they? They, well yeah. they don't really need 
him because Smith throws there as well. But you don't, don't, don't want to be holding great. them guys back. That Martinelli, you highlighted a few weeks oh, ago, Ray. He really is good. playing the best he's played. Yeah, he played really well against City. I think Cancelo, we know, is a, a top class player, and he, he, he it was hard work for him on that left uh, right right hand side. Uh, he's got so much he's, pace, isn't he? And Saka so on the light right on his feet, isn't he? So yeah, light on really, his feet, really good. He, he just could have you on toast. The problem you have with like, with Arsenal, Trev, is, is like I said, if he gets injured, what are you mm. going to do? I mean, you haven't got a lot of backup, have you? No. Martinelli could play up front. Maybe Smith Rowe goes into that midfield. Do you think Aubameyang will go, Ray? Because obviously I don't he's been, uh, well, he's obviously got COVID off. at the moment, so he's going to miss the mm. first few games for his national team in the African Nations. But yeah, I think they'd be trying to get him out the door. Yeah. I should imagine, but it's just whether he wants to go or not. Whether he wants to go or not. Well, um, yeah, he's in charge, isn't he? Trevor, this is a bit of a coup, isn't it, Coutinho? If he gets back to his best, wow. Oh. What, what's put other clubs off him then? Is it just a case probably of his, Gerard his wages. suddenly thought, uh, yeah. wages, I was going to say, is it yeah. money? And and you know what, I mean, uh, he meant, I'm, I'm not sure who mentioned it, but he said he's painfully a shy boy. Sometimes if you're that way inclined, you're not your best, your own best salesman. And maybe people have just been put off because he's just a nice kid. He doesn't say boo to a goose and he just gets on with things and... I think at times you have to come out and say, listen, I'm fit, I want to play, I'm not being given the opportunity, I'm, I'm desperate, I'm hungry. I wonder if Newcastle think, tried to get him. I think he'd be a crowd pleaser, wouldn't he? It'd oh, be, they'd love so him. The, sign, the kind of signing that, that you can see them making, but I think we've, again, we mentioned it earlier, Stephen's history, this is why you get Stephen Gerrard as your manager, because he's got such an amazing wealth of players that he's played with, that he knows, that respects Stephen so much that from a recruitment point of view, he'll be, he'll be able to go for anyone. Ray Quickie, best Brazilian you played with? Brazilian? Yeah, guy in the um, field. Yeah, Gilberto Silva. Yeah, you like no, him. No, Edu was a good, good as well. Uh, but Gilberto Silva was the invisible wall, I called him, because he was always in the right place at the right time. And he, he he went through a game where you didn't see him a lot, but he was doing such a great job for the side at, at that time. Um, so, yeah, Gilberto was a, a, a really good lad as well. A fantastic guy for the dressing room. Anyway, so Gilberto Silva, yeah. OK, a reminder of that breaking news. Villa and Barcelona have agreed terms for Coutinho to spend the rest of the season on loan at Villa Park. The agreement, subject to the player completing a medical and receiving a work permit, also includes an option to buy. And Philip will travel to Birmingham next 48 hours. And don't forget, Manchester United against Villa is live on TalkSport on Monday night. Uh, could Coutinho make his Villa debut? 